Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video. I agree with Kanye. Um, there's been a lot of buzz going on right now with him, um, you know, him being deplatformed and uh, his, net worth, his net worth dropping and being dropped from all sorts of deals um, because of his comments uh, concerning, I guess, um, Concerning Jews, and I, um, it, took while, it took a while to figure out how to phrase it. Not because I'm afraid of saying Jews and you know, talking about Jews in my, my channel. I've done it before, you know, concerning gun control. Uh, but I guess I was trying to figure out, you know, because I, I, I kind of have a feeling not not all, not all are in on, you know, are not all are trying to are trying to. Uh, I put it like this: not all are in on this this uh, this plan or whatever. But I'm pretty sure there are, but it's but it seems like there's been an open secret um, concerning how you know concerning how the how the media is run and you know uh, the type of people who are behind the scenes uh, concerning the me uh, concerning mass media, you know like you know with, especially with uh, like articles, films, mo you know, films, television stuff, stuff like that, music especially music, and he and he's called them out. And the reason why I said I, I, I'm with them is because I don't believe any, I believe no group is above reproach. Uh, I'll, say it, you know, I'll say it firsthand, as a Christian, we're, def we're definitely not above approach. In fact, if anything, we get dog, we probably get dogged on the most. Um, which is fine, because there is, because we are, we are living up to a standard that is, that is quite high. Um, but we were, but, but we were told that, you know, if, you know, obviously, if Jesus won't get persecuted. It's going to happen to us too. So it, it comes to territory. So I, I think that helped us develop, you know, thicker skin. But, but for some, but for some funny, for some strange reason, uh, I guess Jewish people are above reproach, or at least are seen above, seen as being above reproach, because you can't say anything, whether it be something critical, or even. Uh, Saying anything positive, or maybe even saying anything positive, you know, like this is a thing about you know uh, positive stereotypes, things like that. You can't see things like that without being accused of being an anti-Semite. And then you have uh, the eight, you have the Anti-Defamation League breathing down your neck, <laughs> demanding demanding an apology, or else you get shut down, or you get sued, or whatever. Um, but he just well, Kanye decided to call him out, and I agree with him because like because why not? If there, because I believe if you're, if you're, if you are, if you have, if you have the power that you think, that, if you have the power that you think that you have, or that people perceive you to have, then you should be able to defend your position. You should be able to defend um, things that are done, you know, within your organization. You should be able to defend it. You shouldn't be too, you shouldn't be afraid of any scrutiny or any criticism. Uh, if anything, you should welcome it because that means you have, that means you have. You have evidence on your side to back it up, um, because the problem with you know, the problem with cancel culture, the problem with silencing people, you're not disproving the per the person you're trying to silence. You're not disproving the group you're trying to silence. You're actually proving them to be you're proving them to be actually telling the truth. Depending on how depending on how much effort you put into you know into shutting them up, you're, you're actually proving them to be proving them to be you know proving them to be right. Um, so I think he's doing. I think he's doing. A, I think he's doing a very brave thing. It's. I'd say it's very courageous. I'm not someone who is. Who, I'm not someone who agrees with everything that Kanye West does. So I think everything he says. But I gotta say on this. On this one, uh, I, I think he's doing the right. I think he's doing the right thing. I hope he has the endurance to withstand everything that comes at him. I hope he puts his faith in Christ, because that's that's the only thing that will carry him through this uh, this type of madness. Because hey, if Jesus if Jesus went through it and overcame it, then you know, even you know, any one of us can do it, do the same, as long as we put, as we put our trust in the right place. But that's all I want to say. I, just, I figured I'd just do a short video, uh, just talking about the subject. Um, I know there are other channels that have, t you know, that have talked on it a little bit, some some more than others, and I figured, well, why not? You know, why not share my opinion on it? You know, I have I'm, I someone who have two I have two cents to you know to to do, to put to, to donate. So why not? Uh, why not throw my two cents in? But that's my video. Please, tell me what you think? You, you, you think you think I'm right, wrong? Think Kanye's right? Kanye's wrong? Um, should I not say Jews in my video? <laughs> Please share your thoughts. I won't. 
shut I won't I won't you know shut you down. This is a free speech zone. Um, I love reading everyone's I love reading everyone's comments. I try to respond to them if I think the if I think it's necessary. You know, it, it deems a response, of course. But um, I do enjoy reading people's comments and seeing other people's input and getting different perspectives on you know the subjects I get talked about and talked about in my videos. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe. If you got a gripe, if you got a gripe or complaint about my video, please share it with me. I'll see what I can do about it. That's my video. I agree with Kanye. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. Stay strapped. And God bless.